switching from the idea of global warming, and it's only verbiage change, really, but ch- but but changing the 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 view to from global warming to climate change. Global warming it just brings about so much. It isn't. It is. It's El Nino. It's a natural phenomenon. It's not. It's man-made. It's it's organic. It's blah blah blah. Yeah. Um, I I don't think if anybody studies history of any shape or form, even recent history for the past ten to thirty years, we we can't deny that the climate is is changing about us. Yeah, I think it, global warming is not quite the right term, and climate change still feels kind of benign. Global weirding feels a whole lot more appropriate to me because. <laughs> Some places, I mean, it, it seems kind of funny, but that's what it is, is that it, the weather will be strange, you know, that some places will be wetter, some places will be drier, uh, a lot of places will be drier, it'll be colder, it'll be, but it, our entire civilization, where we live, where we farm, where we travel, is based on stable weather patterns, and they're not. Yeah, that's, oh, it is the... Weird global climate. So climate weirding was that what you just said? Okay. Global weirding. Yes. Global weirding. Yeah. It, yeah. It. It. Um. That feels like it kind of sums it up to me. Is that it is. It is no longer stable. It is no longer like what we expected from. You know, it's like what your wife said. Every day that since we were a child, the weather has been like this. And you know, I don't feel like I'm that old, but if I can see changes over the course of fifty years. It's happening. Yeah, it, it's undeniable. Um, and so the the thing that strikes me the most is you get then you get people like Elon Musk, who I who I believe has basically said it's too late, give up, go to Mars. Um, is do you reckon do you reckon that's truthful, or would you, do you think we can well, stop it, or put the put the brakes on, or what do you think? I think that's pretty defeatist myself and, and that it's unrealistic. I mean, we have seven and a half billion people on this planet. Are we all going to go to Mars? No, no. The, the wealthiest might be able to go. The rest of us would be stuck here. So I, I feel like, um, you know, comments like that and the idea that we should, you know, seed the heavens with minerals to change the climate, all of that, that serves, it serves to detract from the focus on changing today. Almost all the technologies that would solve climate change right now it are, exist right now. They just have not been deployed at a scale that is commensurate with the scale of the problem. And that requires political will and governments. Um, and that's what's missing. So, you know, <laughs> I mean, how many people have we sent into space over the history of mankind? I don't know, a couple hundred tops. So the idea that we're all going to go to Mars where there's not even an environment, that just is just ridiculous. <laughs> but, I mean, but they still would need Tago, uh, Tago yeah. bags to store all their stuff in, like when they go to Mars. If you're going to go, here's how you stay organized. 